three, two, one, action. Hi. For most of us, one thing we hate to see the most is having our phones go on low battery when we actually need them the most. How about practicing some few hacks to actually help sustain your phone's battery for a longer time than usual? My name is Eshma Lamte and in today's video, we are going to take a look at five major ways you can go about helping your phone's battery last longer than usual. Without talking further, let's get into it. One simple way you can have your battery last longer is actually closing open apps. We sometimes develop a habit of opening a lot of apps and we sometimes forget to close those apps whenever we are no longer using them. Now this can actually have a great impact on your phone's battery. So whenever you open an app and you are not using it or you are no longer going to use it, all you have to do is to go ahead and then close those apps. Next is to turn off your phone's Wi-Fi when you are not using it. Now this is something which is sometimes a bit difficult in the sense that you might be at a location where there's Wi-Fi, you turn on your phone's Wi-Fi, you hook up onto it, you browse and you forget about it. Now, you, what your phone is sometimes configured to is that whenever you get to a location where there's Wi-Fi you've connected to before, then automatically it goes ahead to connect to it. Now, during this period where you may not be connected to Wi-Fi, since it's turned on, it's actually having an impact on your phone's battery and it's always best for you to actually turn off Wi-Fi whenever you're not connected to Wi-Fi. The same thing applies to Bluetooth. So if you are not using Bluetooth, if you are not connected to a device or you are not using Bluetooth for anything, it is always best for you to turn off your Bluetooth as well. So the second tip is turning off your Wi-Fi as well as turning off your Bluetooth whenever you are not using it. Or you can actually go to the automatic configuration aspect and then just turn that off so that when you want to connect to your Wi-Fi, you just do that manually. One simple way which can also help improve upon your phone's battery life is simply reducing your phone's screen's brightness. Now this is a bit dicey, but it's very important. The reason is because whenever your phone's brightness is set to the maximum, this is actually affecting the battery. So it is always best to be able to keep it within, you know, what is going to be good for your eyes at the end of the day. All what is important for you is to be able to read whatever you have on your screen or be able to see whatever you have on your screen. Now for some phones, you actually have the chance of um, adjusting this automatically. So whenever you are in a dark, the um, screen brightness dims whenever you get out of the dark and maybe in daylight you can't see your phone properly or your screen properly then this actually increases a bit there are some apps even after closing them they still run on your phone and this actually run as the background so that's why you have the background running apps so it's also best for you to try as much as possible to minimize the apps that runs on the background whenever you even close them so an example of these apps could be whatsapp as well as facebook Twitter and so on. So in case you know this apps, you, if you are not opening them and you don't want them to, you know, um, run at the background of your phone, all you have to do is actually, you know, turn those off and you're good to go. The third tip is turning off your location as well as Google Assistant when you are not using them. Taking the location, for instance, if you are not using Google Map to maybe navigate to a place or to find a place and the rest, it is always best or advisable to turn off your location. Now, this helps save a lot of battery on your phone because once you have your GPS or your location turned on, it is actually working it's because it's on and wherever you go, it has your location. So it's always best for you to actually turn off your location if you are not using it as well as Google Assistant. So, you know, Google Assistant runs on the background. So once you say, okay, Google, then it picks it up and then it tries to, you know, uh, mimic or sh should I say, listen to whatever information you have to say and then it goes ahead to provide you with feedback. So it's always best for you to turn off your Google Assistant as well as your uh, location to help save a lot of battery on your phone. Now, this is a bonus tip you can also go ahead to implement and this is switching between your power mode. So for my phone, for instance, it has three different power modes. So the ultra power mode, the power save mode, and then the one which actually, you know, uses a lot of battery and the rest on your phone. So it is always best for you to either turn it to, let's say, um, power save mode or ultra power save mode. Now, the ultra power save mode actually restricts a lot of um, apps. It, it turns off apps that runs at the background and the rest so in case you need a lot of power this is one feature you might want to be going in for and then also when you are charging your phone as well you can also go ahead to turn on the ultra power save mode which helps your phone charge for you know at a very shorter time to get your phone actually full at a very shorter time so these are some of the ways you can go about implementing to help your phone's battery last longer than usual 
and then not leaving out you can also go ahead to you know turn off notifications so for my phone for instance i've actually disabled notifications so for whatsapp facebook whatever it is i don't want to be receiving notifications aside email so whatever notification it is even though it comes all right it comes only when i open the app aside that i don't get any form of notifications on my phone so these are ways by which you can go about helping improve upon your battery life of your phone so if you find this video useful don't forget to hit on the thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Eshmo Lamte. thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one